few things that are unique about leatherback turtles. They are huge animals. They engage in these incredible migrations across the Pacific Ocean. These animals are able to maintain a body temperature greater than their environment, which is very unique for a reptile. And they do this all on a diet of jellyfish. Truly a magnificent animal, and I think one of the reasons why it doesn't receive more attention is because it's not an animal that's easily seen. Essentially, hatchlings leave the beach and they're about that big, and when the people see them again at the nesting beach, they are the animals that weigh 1,300 pounds and almost six feet long. We're here off the central coast of California between Half Moon Bay and San Francisco to learn more about movements of these animals. They're a very cryptic species. They lie very close to the water. Not very much is exposed. We're most able to be effective with the help of an aerial team. And they essentially spot the animals for us and direct us to them. When we get on a turtle, it's a, it's a pretty exciting couple minutes. After the net is put on it, we have it alongside the boat where we secure it with some additional ropes. And this boat is a very unique vessel, like a small landing craft. We have a lot of nice PVC plating, rubber siding on here to keep the animal protected from hurting itself. That's good, that's good. We put a transmitter on some of them to track their movements across not just the Pacific, but look in finer detail to help inform our fisheries about where these animals might be relative to different environmental conditions and what kind of depths it might be diving to. We also sample them remotely with a camera that's attached with suction cups. And what this allows us to do is to look at the type of jellies that they're eating. Likewise, those camera devices will also carry a small time depth recorder so we can look at what depth they're actually taking these jellies. One of the things we've learned about this population is that it's actually a meta population. So some of the population is using foraging grounds over in the South China Sea, um, others in the North Pacific, still others migrate off of Australia, New Zealand, as well as those that come all the way across the Pacific here to California yet they're all part of the same population. And so we have this incredible connectivity. But in the Pacific Ocean, leatherback turtles are in really dire straits. The population is declining at about 6% a year. Really, to recover leatherback turtles, we have to be able to provide protection in these other foraging areas as well as what happens here in California. All these people around the Pacific Ocean have a role to play. If we do want to have leatherback turtles with us 40 years from now, it can be turned around, but everybody has to play their role in it to have recovery.